JD Tools here. Today we're going to be installing hinges on a new door. We're going to be switching out this old door here and putting on what you call a six panel door. And you can see the one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what you call the six panel door. Here I'm using the Ryobi jig, which I really like. It is plastic. You do got to kind of be careful with it, especially whenever you tighten it down here. Uh, first of all, what we're going to do is I got everything matched up. As you can see, the new door handle, the old one, everything is lined up. I got everything sitting nice and neat on the saw horses here. Get a little groove for the doors. Uh, if you want to buy these saw horses online, I'll put a link in the description box below. And you can just click on it and buy them. Uh, so first of all, what I do here is I measure from the edge of the door to right there. I'm trying to get my camera to focus here. But it is 11 inches and a 16th. So it's 11 and a 16th. So I did the same here. I went ahead and marked everything here before I put the jig down. And it's 11 and a 16th. I like to try to be pretty precise whenever I do the hinges. And next we are going to go ahead and route out. We're going to set the router in this jig right here. And here's the router that I'm using. This is an old Chicago uh, router from Harbor Freight. Older model. I don't know what the newer models look like. I'll put a link in the description box below for one of these two. I have not had any problems with these or with this one here. It's been good. It has an adjustable height here where you can adjust it up and down. Uh, this kit right here does come with the router bit that you see right there. And let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I got my measurements here. You want to make sure that the round part here on your jig is exactly like the other door here. You see the round part here. You want to make sure that this is the same right there. I got my measurement there and I like to put this right on that edge, maybe about halfway on that mark, right about there. And when I tighten this down, do it nice and easy. Make sure all this is flush and flat. If you bump it, make sure that you get it right back on and tighten it gently. Remember, this is plastic. These little shaft pieces here, they will break. I've had them break on me before, but overall, I'm real happy with this jig that Ryobi makes. They call it a hinge router template. Here's an extra router bit here. This is a second template. My last one, it broke right there. So just keep in mind when you do tighten everything down, just to do it ever so slightly and don't over tighten it. Just make sure it's snug up there. And that's good right there. A little bit more. Now I went ahead and routed out uh, another template here and as you can see I was still dialing in my router it's better to be to do less than it is more when you do the hinges so as you can see I kind of did just the opposite I went a little bit more right here and then I went up to less you want everything to be flush and perfect this is where the old hinge was right there and hand me a hinge. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like here. 
I went ahead and stopped right there and brought the router up. So some, some of you may want to just finish it out, but remember if you finish it and you go deeper, it could affect how the door goes on. So we got the hinge right here. Everything fits perfectly. It's nice and flush and flat. But it's okay if you stop midway and you decide that you are too deep. So not a bad job right there. Now let's go ahead and route out this other hole here for the other hand. Okay, so everything's on here, ready to go. What I did is I put a little mark. I don't know if you can see it, but I put just a little bitty pin mark right there so that I have a guide on my router to know exactly where to put it. I've got a bunch of doors to do. There's a bunch behind that door there. So it's better to set everything first on your first hinge. Make sure everything's tight on your router. That way when you start going, you can just rock and roll with it. Another thing I wanted to also mention is there di there's different sizes here that you can put this in. It comes out and it's, it's adjustable for different size hinges. This here is a three and a half inch hinge. So just to let you know on that, uh, you don't want to route out a bigger one and then wind up finding out that your hinge is smaller. So just take your time, make sure that everything is correct before you get started. out of your pocket. Pay attention. One thing that I do want to mention is to make sure that you get the rounded edges really well. It doesn't look like I got that one really well, so I'll go over it again. I'm trying to record and hold the router at the same time and have somebody hold the door, so... Okay, so we have everything routed out and ready to go and for the hinges to go on this folds all the way back I use this as a reference you want to make sure that you put the hinges on right side up where the pin is up top and here's the new hinge as you can see this would be the wrong way because that folds all the way back when it closes completely so what I do here, that's the bottom. It's going to go just like that. And I'm going to show you all how to drill the holes. It does, that Ryobi uh, jig does come with a drill bit that fits perfectly in the hole. And it drills exactly right in the middle. And I'm going to show you all how to do that. Another thing that I wanted to show you all here is I got all the screws out of that hinge. Every once in a while you're gonna run across a screw where the head is rounded off, like this one here. 
And you may be wondering how to get the door off. I got a drill bit here on the end of my drill. Be careful not to go in too far. Your main goal is just to get this head off so you can get the hinge off. As you can see, it popped off there. And now this door is ready to come off. Here's the drill bit that the Ryobi jig comes with. There's a drill bit right in the middle and this piece compresses in. Everything is centered so it makes it nice and easy. And I'm gonna show you how it works. You push this right here, make sure that your drill is level. Push in a little bit. And that is it. Everything is centered, and that way the screws go in nice and easy.